we want to find the Maclaurin series for f of x equals five cosine three x squared, which can be written in this form here, and then find the first few coefficients, c sub zero, c sub two, through c sub eight. Because we're looking for a Maclaurin series, we know the series is centered at c equals zero. One way to find the Maclaurin series would be to use this formula here, where we have the summation from n equals zero to infinity of the nth derivative of f evaluated at zero divided by n factorial times x to the nth. In expanded form, it would look like this. But notice how to find the first derivative, we'd have to apply the chain rule, and then to find a higher order derivatives, we'd have to apply the product rule and the chain rule. So instead of doing all this extra work, we'll build the Maclaurin series using the known Maclaurin series for cosine x given here. Most texts do provide a list of power series for elementary functions similar to the one given here. So again, in our example, we're using this power series to build the Maclaurin series. Looking at the expansion of the power series for cosine x, notice how we could write this as a summation from n equals zero to infinity of negative one to the nth, since the terms alternate sine, times x to the power of two n, because the exponents are even, divided by two n factorial. So to find the Maclaurin series for our function, we can substitute three x squared for x, then multiply by five. So five cosine three x squared would be equal to five times, substituting three x squared for x, we would have one minus, instead of x squared, we'd have three x squared squared divided by two factorial plus instead of x to the fourth, we'd have three x squared to the fourth divided by four factorial minus instead of x to the sixth, we'd have three x squared to the sixth divided by six factorial and so on. Now notice here, if we distribute five, we would actually find c sub zero through c sub eight, where c sub eight would be the coefficient of the degree eight term, and notice how this term here would have degree eight. So let's go ahead and find c sub zero through c sub eight, and then we'll come back and write this Maclaurin series in a form similar to this form here using summation notation. If we distribute five, we would have five minus five times three x squared squared over two factorial, which is two, plus five times three x squared to the fourth divided by four factorial, which is twenty-four, and so on. We can stop here again because this term has degree eight. So we'd have five minus, this would be five times nine x to the fourth divided by two, would be forty-five halves x to the fourth, plus, here we have five times three x squared to the fourth, that'd be five times eighty one, that's four hundred five divided by twenty four. Well, four hundred five divided by twenty four, the common factor of three here, that simplifies to one hundred thirty five divided by eight. So we have plus one hundred thirty five eighths x to the eighth, and so on but now we can find the coefficients that we need. C sub zero is the coefficient of the degree zero term of the constant term, which is five. C sub two is the coefficient of the degree two term. There is no degree two term, so it's zero. C sub four would be negative forty-five halves. C sub six would be zero, since there's no degree six term, and C sub eight would be one hundred thirty-five divided by eight. So now we have found the coefficients, but let's take the time to write the Maclaurin series using summation notation similar to this form here. So this Maclaurin series would be equal to five times the summation from n equals zero to infinity of negative one to the nth, and then instead of x to the power of two n, we would have three x squared to the power of two n divided by two n factorial. 
Now let's go ahead and make this fit this form here. So we'll bring the factor of five in. So we would have f of x, which equals five cosine three x squared, equals the summation from n equals zero to infinity of negative one to the nth times five times three x squared to the power of two n divided by two n factorial. I hope you found this helpful.